now it's time for the adventures of Scooby Dooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are oh. you? Hey, Shaggy, you and Scooby should go check out that noise. Yeah! <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo, where oh. are you? Come here, Scooby. Oh, quit squashing, you got fleas. Don't hey. talk to my Uncle Scooby like that. I'll give you a beat down. What? What? I said I'll give you a beat down. I'm down here. Come here. Let me at him. Hey, Fred. I'll punch you so hard on the back of the calf that you'll probably fall down. Yeah, you try it. Oh. Hey, Fred. Wait, do it again? Fred, Daphne, would you quit making out in public? That's, like, disgusting. You're, like, sucking each other's face. Scooby Dooby Doo Scooby Dooby Doo Where are you? Shaggy and Scooby The Lost Episode Hey Scooby You know we've been in cartoon animation for about 30 years now and you uh -huh. never seem quite to learn and to master the English language but I've concocted this very nice Blue here, and it's, you, you just suck on the end of this uh, tube, and you inhale. Okay, Scooby? Here you go. Inhale. Hold it in. Wow. Looks like smoke coming out of your... Oh. Let it out. Now, you might be able to speak just like me. <clears throat> Could you uh, pass the bong? You can talk! Yes. It works! Oh, weird, I can talk. I'm like talking human. Yes! Hey, uh, I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, let's go to the pizza place. That sounds great. Okay. Alright. Would you like to put me on the leash this time? Uh, no, I'm not into that. I'm into underage poodles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody, okay? Um, and nobody really cares considering I'm a dog, so I can kind of get away with it. You, on the other hand, doing a teenage underage poodle? Yeah. I don't think you'd be able to get away with it. Uh, probably not. <laughs> um, what about Scrappy? He's underage or under... Um, no, um... Under mm, size? Yeah. What type of dog is Scrappy? Same species as myself. And what would that be? Um, we're called... Marmadukes. Monitors? Marmadukes. Marmadukes? Yeah. That's not a breed. That's what I was told. You've been told. Well, who told you that? Did Fred tell you that? No. Did Daphne tell you? No, I just guessed. What did you guess? Marmaduke looks like me. Yes, he does. So I'm a Marmaduke. Okay. Okay. I Put mean, you can call me what you want, I guess. Yes, I'm going to call you uh, Booby. Booby? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah, you're just a dog, so you can't, you know, you can't tell me what I'm gonna do. Because I can now. You, I own you. You're my dog. You don't own me. What? You don't own me. You're my dog. I will hurt you. You think so, huh? I will rip your flesh off. What? I'm your owner. I'm your master. You, you, you're supposed to obey and, and love me, and, and you're loyal to me. I, I feed you. I, I give well, you water. Well, don't get out of line. We won't have a problem. Out of line? Don't get out of line. That's the thing. I can do whatever I want. You're just a pet Not to me. Not anymore. What? Just because Not you can anymore. talk? Just because you can talk, all of a sudden the roles have been reversed? No, I just think I have a voice now, and I should have a voice. I should have a say in things. You know, I don't think this was such a good idea. I want to take your voice away. You no, know, no, I think I'll just go my own way. What? I think I'll just go my own way. I don't then there will go. never be a Scooby-Doo mystery again. Yo, you know what? The show's called Scooby-Doo, not Shaggy. You know, um, that... Or Fred, or Velma. Or Daphne. I, uh, damn, that was such a bad idea to do that to you. Um, yeah, well, guess what? It's your own attitude that lost out on the end. Now you can you know become I mean? a, an arrogant, conceited, You had to be dog. arrogant and conceited. You know, I mean, I was yeah, going to, like, know, negotiate all your contracts asshole. and stuff. And well, you know what? I can't fucking sign, and you're the one that gets all the money, right? I don't get anything. I don't yeah, but I account. still feed you and, and water you. What do you feed me? What do I feed you? Yes, what do you feed me? You tell Scooby me what you snacks. feed me. Scooby snacks. 
And what are Scooby Snacks? I don't really know. They Leftovers. Don't, they don't, no. Yes. They're in a box. Old Brett. You stupid son of a bitch. What? Those are pizza boxes. Pizza boxes? They're crusts. Nobody likes to crust, so that's what I eat. Every night, you hippies get pizza, and yeah. I get the crust. That's, the dog can't live that way. You've been living this long. Not very long. How long is long? I don't know. Long enough is long enough. You're, what, seven years old? That's like 56 years that's old? That's really old for a dog, yes. Yeah, so, so I don't I'll know. probably die soon. So, okay. Well, that's fine. You're, you know, I, I'm getting sick and tired of cleaning up that you know, cause it's, because of the new law that I got to sit there and, and wrap your shit up into like a little plastic container and you deposit shit too. it. What? You shit too. Yeah, but I shit mine in a toilet. Yeah, well, you never let me go to the toilet. You make could, me go outside, so you, it's your you're fault. not, because you don't know how to do that. I do know how to do it. Did you ever ask? Well, go ahead and show me. I don't have to shit right now, Shaggy, okay? I can't shit on command. See, that's the problem with this relationship. <laughs> You can beg on command. Why don't you eat my dog bone, bitch? <laughs> well, I don't like your attitude. You know? Well, then you don't like me. Where are you? The mighty northern caves of the Canadian ubiquitous tribe of those that once came from Norway. <laughs> They had legends and songs of the monster that dwelled with them. But this great rumbling was simply the wind blowing through tunnels, endless tunnels, too small for a man, and so large one would fall. That sounded like a monster, sure enough, but it's only the wind, trust me. We have a special camera being hauled in by a mechanical device. Hello? The sound you're hearing right now is a madman who had fallen in one of the holes. We're not sure how old he is, but we can hear him. We can't see him yet, but we've been able to hear his voice for the past two weeks. He seems... Hello? Quite insane. And for the first time, we're going to talk to him. We've got an intercom. Somebody tell me where my hearing Sir, can you hear me? How are you? I'm sure I'm the only voice you've heard for many years. Many years? Have you come to save me? You are being broadcasted for the entire world to hear if they're in fact watching this channel. Look, I... Uh, and I'm sure you'll be played on reruns many times. I, what is your name, sir? Ralph. Ralph? What year were you born, Ralph? 1925. How does it feel to be in the darkness of a deep cave? It sucks, I, How many years have you been here? Uh, two years. How have you ate? Is there any food down there for you? Uh, well, there was, at, 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 at first there was some uh, roots and, and some shrubbery. And then with that which called God, I started to eat parts of my uh, clothing. And uh, now I'm fully naked. Wow. And I only have uh, one uh, half a shoe left. The other I ate. Yeah. But I, I was in the mountain uh, climbing and I fell in this hole. And I've been waiting for to be rescued for two years, and you hardly come to get me, so where's the goddamn rope to pull me out? Well, we can only hear your voice. We think you're caught in a twisted tunnel. We, I, we're not so sure we can get you out. Do, 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 do you even have any rescue equipment out there? No, we just sent this uh, electric drone down that has the intercom. I'm way on the surface of the ground. 
I'm, I'm talking to you live. How high are you up there? Sir, do you realize that there are viewers and listeners right now listening to this conversation? Uh, do you realize I'm pretty goddamn hungry and thirsty? I need to get up. Sir, does it mean anything that you're on network television no, and the entire does. world can hear you? No, it does not. All you're complaining about is food, and you don't care that the media has come all out, days. paid million dollars for this drone to bring God this audio device and intercom down, I'm not talking. and you want food. I'm not, you haven't talked to a human I'm for not, two years, and you uh, want food. food. Yeah, I'm hungry, and I'm also thirsty. I've been drinking my own urine, and I'm, uh, I'm very uh, dehydrated, and... I'm about to die. Lord, you can take a bite. It's a damn. Sir, we'll be with you till the end. Just keep talking. <laughs> We're selling advertising and making pretty good money off of it, so I would have to thank you personally on behalf of the network. You! You're so how much space do you have down there? Not much at all. It's like a Chinese culture. Do you ever go insane? I mean, do you ever just can't take it and you just start going well, crazy? Well, I went insane and then I became un-insane. How did you do that? Well, it's like when you drink yourself drunk, and then you keep drinking, and then you all of a sudden you're no longer drunk. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank God I have cards up, but look, I don't have very much air left in this pocket that I'm in right now. And I'm, Our camera might uh, be cutting some of that air off if you're in a narrow tunnel. Yeah, but Do you please. want us to pull the drone up, or do you want us to, want... or do you want to suffocate on live? Alive on the air. You're a sick son of a bitch. I tell you, if I could get out of here, I'll be kicking your ass with my wooden leg. Someone out there, if you could. Again, fight. you're showing a disappreciation uh, for the media. Again, you're showing a disappreciation for the state I'm in. No, we are appreciating it enough. Like uh, I said, we spent almost a million dollars on this drone to transport this intercom system down. And you. Don't even give a <laughs> shit. You're so selfish in your own little hole. <coughs> and then you call up asking for food. <coughs> and you're basically coughing right in the microphone so the whole world has to be bothered by your flimish flim flim. Thank you. You're finally done. Okay, I tell you what. We're going to try to find some of your relatives. Is there anyone in particular you'd like to talk to, sir? Here, turn the microphone up more. I, it's, okay. it's just the wind blowing on the rock, I think. Maybe he's taking a nap. See if you can bring the microphone down more. Sir! Can you hear us? What's that? Sounds like he's trying to start up a car. Okay, sir! Yes! I, I think you got. Yeah. Who is this? I remember doing four piece of time. Oh, he went insane, I bet. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe he's using a different voice. Could have multiple personalities. Sir, what is your name? Sebastian. Sebastian. Okay. Your voice sounds a lot different. What happened? I have no idea, but I feel. A lot like dancing while drinking a couple of cans of Miller High Life. Oh, God. You already got a sponsor and you're giving product endorsements. You Thank selfish, you. selfish, claustrophobic man. You might uh, have an interest in this uh, toupee company that I uh, endorse with stocks and bonds because I really like your toupee is rather fake. I don't appreciate that. The toupee has nothing to do with anything. It does indeed, sir, because no. you are representing your I don't show. really want anyone to talk about my hairpiece. And if you expect the It's called a hairpiece, by the way, not a toupee. If you expect your worldwide audience to appreciate the value of what you're trying to present, they would like to see someone who isn't wearing a fake piece of rug. Why, you want to step up and be the host of your own show? You want to interview yourself in the hole? Frankly. Yeah, interview yourself in the whole assholes and get your own drone, get your own microphone. All right, I let's have, call the microphone up. Goodbye, I have, asshole. I have no interest in media, but I can do a hell of a lot better than you if I had the chance, if I wanted to, if I was so inclined. You listen to me. Sure.
That's what all I'm going to raise the microphone up. But before I let you die in the solitude, mm -hmm. I want you to know that I've been in broadcast journalism for about four years. Mm -hmm. And before that, mm -hmm. I wrote for a local newspaper for two years. Mm -hmm. Before that, I was in college. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Before that, in high school, you were in the paper. Too, right? I worked for the paper mm -hmm. yeah, at the high school paper, mm -hmm. and I took pictures. Uh -huh. And I was on the staff, and my name is on the roster in the yearbook. Mm -hmm. So you tell me why you think your resume is more fortified than mine? Oh, it's not. Okay, then what's your premise? My premise? What's your premise? I'm such. I'm. I'm such. I'm. See. I'm. You suck. I'm. You. So, what are you doing? Is that a typewriter? Hello? Uh, Hello? I think we're picking up another audio signal. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Tony Bledsoe, is that you? My long locked brother? To Tony? Tony? Oh, it looks like the producers patched uh, one of your relatives in on the other line. Tony Bledsoe? Is your name Tony, sir? No. Well, then who the hell's Tony Bledsoe? I thought you guys told me that this, my long locked brother was on the other line. Well, we thought it might have been. We wanted you to be on hold in you case it was. You lying son of a bitch! How could you? We haven't determined that. He says he's not. I haven't seen my long locked brother in ten years. It's this phone call I've been waiting for all my it's, life. I don't know you... whose fault it was. Was oh, it the intern God. that put you, who put you through? Oh, great. You sure you're not Tony? You sure you're not fucking up? Hey, it wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the interview. I didn't produce this show. Right. It's a great show. It's a great network. Mm -hmm. And you have tarnished it. Yes. With your little fault. hole in the cave trick. Yes, all my fault. Pretending to be some guy named Tony. So we no, get I was pretending to be some guy named Ralph. Out. Yeah, well, you're pretending all the way down to hell, motherfucker. Exactly. Can I, I say that on the air? Oh, it's satellite. Yeah. I'm actually motherfucker. speaking from hell, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Yes. I bet you have very many secrets that you don't want the public to know. I don't have any secrets I don't want the public to know. Are you sure? I'm positive. Your cameraman, he really enjoys your tight ass. Yeah, I uh, bet a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. Well, he does especially because he's been inside it quite often. He's been inside of it? Okay. <clears throat> I'm sure that made him feel real uncomfortable. Good mm -hmm. job for making our mm -hmm. cameraman sound really uncomfortable. Oh, does it make you uncomfortable to be the uh, the recipient of such a uh, pounding in the anus? I never said I was. You, you did. <laughs> You're the one who indulged in that fantasy. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the global worldwide radio satellite uplink of a truly homogenized individual. All right, listen, dude. I'm interviewing you. You don't give the call letters. You don't do mid-tros. Well, you would just sit there rambling off stuff like evasiveness. You know, so I just thought I like Bill. Who's the, rambling uh, now? Who's rambling now? Look, I, we can all tell you're bored and you would rather have my job than be in this hole. In the ground, I don't know how deep your ass is. We can't find you. 1,200 feet. <clears throat> and you don't even care. You, 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 you don't even care. You're like trying to yeah. you, usurp. <clears throat> I'm just under it's a like, rock. It's like Jesus sent an angel down and you tried to make the angel your chef or something. Yeah, that would be nice to have a chef down here because uh, yeah, I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? I like you. I bet you'd like to take the Archangel Michael's like sweet time and turn him into slave, wouldn't you? Um, I bet you'd take the highest archangel in heaven and turn him into a butler. Uh, 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 hello. Oh, your for, your first voice is back. Uh, hello. Oh, are you back? Uh, I didn't know I left. Where would I go? This is Ralph, right? Oh, hi, Ralph. I think we have multiple personalities. I think we just talked to one of them. Hey, is your name Ralph? He was a real... This, no, that. my name's not Ralph. He was a real He was a real dick, though, the guy we were just talking to. Oh, hi, um, Dick. I think that's a nice name. No, my name's not Dick. Well, which is it? You're confusing me. Is your name Ralph or Dick? My name is Walter. Garnished neighbor.